Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, hey, welcome as well. And as a quick reminder to all, you know, my focus, you know, my mission, you know, here on the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, across all regions. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel, when you choose to like the videos, and when you choose to share the information with friends and associates and colleagues. So if you've not yet done so, please do that now. Please hit that subscribe button. Please like the video and please share the information uh, with those that you feel can benefit from it. And for additional ways that you can support the channel, you know, please check out those links below. In addition to that, you can learn more about me and learn more about my company and how we can help take your business to that next level. And a couple places I would point you to, you know, if you're looking to increase traffic flow, you know, you want to get the door to swing, the phone to ring, the email to ding, and the text to ping, you know, check out the link below to a high impact digital marketing. Uh, we can help you do that. And if you're looking to grow, if you're looking to expand, uh, you need additional money for marketing, you know, check out those financing links below as well. And so with that said, you know, let's get into our topic here today. And it's how to improve gym sales skills. You know, how do you, how do you improve your skill set at this? Okay, what can you do to get better? And I want to give you eight things that you can think about that if you're not doing these right now, start to implement this into, you know, your plan of action, your daily routine, you know, and watch your sales grow, watch them improve. And so number one on my list is attend sales training. Okay, you know, attend sales training. Now, if you're an individual salesperson, your company doesn't offer sales training, use this channel. I mean, we're getting close right now to, I think, close to 1,300 videos here on the channel, and nearly all of them are how-to videos, how to improve. So if you're not getting it from your company, you know, use this channel. Uh, if you're a company, you know, start offering sales training if you're not doing it. Have it at a set time, hey, every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. Okay, but you know, have regular sales training, and if as a company that you know it's a, a challenge for a variety of reasons, you know, use this channel for that. You know, a lot of a lot of our clients will use the channel, you know, for their sales training. They'll play the videos, you know, then they'll discuss them afterwards. So, attend sales training. You're going to have to train. It's no different than uh, your members that come in. The ones that come in on a regular basis and those that train on a regular basis get pretty good results usually. Those that do it sporadically or don't do it all, there are no results. Same thing here, it's really no different, okay? So attend sales training. Number two, implement role playing in your training. Implement role playing. And again, if you're a company, you know, want to do this, if you're an individual, you know, find someone you can do it with, a spouse, a friend, whomever, but implement role playing. So it, what I like to do, you know, we'll have our weekly trainings in clubs, but then every day, we'll do five or 10 minutes of training every day. And usually it's role playing. Maybe we'll role play the price presentation. Maybe we'll re, uh, role play overcoming objections. We'll role play maybe a customer registering in. Maybe we'll role play how to get the powerful why, how to, how to set an appointment, how to make an outbound call. We'll role play all this. Because I want to hear what you sound like in action because we have to be ready. What we don't want to find ourselves doing is practicing on the paying customer. Okay, So implement role playing. Now, number three that I found can really be a benefit to you, it really keeps you sharp, is practice public speaking. Practice public speaking. And there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can go out and join uh, Toastmasters and they'll get you up in front of a crowd and get you in the habit of speaking in front of a group, get you comfortable, you know, speaking in front of a group. You know, go join local networking events, you know, at a kind of a lower level, say, than Toastmasters as far as speaking. I mean, you'll get an opportunity to get up, you know, every week for at least a minute, okay, and, and tell your story. But practice public speaking, you know, practice getting in front of folks, okay? And, you know, I found that one to be a really good one, okay? Uh, number four, find a mentor. You know, find someone who can mentor you on this. And when I talk about mentor, you know, I'm talking about someone who's been there and who's done it. Okay, someone who can guide you, someone who can direct you, someone who can help you shorten that learning curve. You know, if you can't find that, use this channel for that. 
okay and you know let me do it you know here through video for you okay but find a mentor someone you can go to someone you can trust that trusted partner okay that can really help you navigate this and really help you shorten that learning curve and really help you you know really maximize you know the time and effort that you put into this uh, number five on my list of how to improve gym sales skills you know ask questions this is one of the really one of the secrets I think that a lot of folks they, they misunderstand particularly when they first get into it it's not a matter of us talk 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 it's a matter of us asking questions finding out as much about the customer as we can because the more we understand about them the better job we can do of helping them solve their problem and provide solutions for them so get in the habit of asking questions number six you want to improve your sales skills you want to improve your skill set number six become a lifelong learner become a student Become a student of sales, become a student of fitness, become a student of your gym, become a student of your company, a student of your industry. You know, have this quest for knowledge. Always be looking to learn. Again, you can use this channel as a great resource for that if you don't have other paths and other avenues that you can go down. But become a student of this, okay? Always learning, okay? Uh, number seven, improve your prospecting skills improve your prospecting skills you know the thing about prospecting is we have to keep the pipeline full we can become really great at this at selling so to speak but unless that pipeline is full unless we have you know new leads coming in new people to talk to it's not going to do us a lot of good so improve our skills at prospecting okay you know making the outbound calls getting referrals generating new leads you know improve that skill set and you can find other videos you know here in the channel that'll kind of do more of a deep dive into that for you and then number eight on my list review all your sales calls all your sales presentations review every one of them okay whether the person enrolled or they didn't and simply ask yourself what worked well what did i like and what did i not what could i improve upon what could i do better because the better job you can do of understanding what you could have done better on that call will allow you to uh, improve and not make that same error perhaps you know the next time you talk to them you know we call it a lot of times we call it that tour log sheet if we miss a sale you know we'll complete a tour log sheet with the idea of being hey if that same customer came in again how would we maybe handle them a little bit different okay because we want to learn if you don't know why you didn't get them signed up you know, you're going to keep missing that same person in that same situation. So really review all your sales calls. And I say sales calls, you know, your presentations and, and even, uh, you know, via the phone, you know, how'd it go? Did it go well? Did it not go well? What would you have done differently? You know, if you could make the call, you know, all over again. So review these, uh, these eight thoughts on how to improve your sales skills. Really, if you can work on these and really stay dedicated to these, you can see a big improvement in sales. You know, just ha have the willpower, have the desire to change and to do these, and you'll see an improvement. You'll see it pretty quick, actually. Okay. So, folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company's fitness management and consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, my focus and my mission here in the channel is I want to provide as much information uh, to as many people as I can, you know, across all regions. And again, the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe, when you choose to like the videos, and when you choose to share it. So if you've not yet done so, you know, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company, and uh, how you can support the channel, uh, you know, check out those links below. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.